Hi, I'm Dr. from Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM calculations for arm cycling ergometry in order to calculate the work rate of an intensity when you already know the other variables, which is going to be body mass and the oxygen consumption that you're uh, hoping the person is working at. So let's use a question to help us frame this. Um, Anthony is a client at your gym. He was prescribed an arm cycling exercise at 18 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute, and he weighs 155 pounds. Uh, what work rate should he should you set the machine at in terms of uh, in units of kilogram meters per minute um, in order for him to exercise that at this 18 mLs per kg per minute that you prescribed or someone's prescribed? Um, and then what would that be in watts? Because most machines are going to use watts. They're not going to use the kilogram meters per minute that the ACSM equations use. So let's go ahead and look at our given variables here. Um, so we have arm cycling as our exercise uh, modality. Um, that's important so we can know which ACSM equation to use. Um, he is going, is going to be working at 18 uh, milliliters of oxygen per kilogram body mass per minute, so 18 is his relative VO2, and he weighs 155 pounds. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert his body mass from pounds to kilograms. So I'm going to take his 155 pounds, divide that by the conversion factor of 2.2, and get 70.455 for his uh, body mass in kilograms. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually pull up the arm cycling equation. So the arm cycling equation is um, relative VO2 in mLs per kg per minute uh, is equal to three times the work rate, which is what we're trying to calculate, divided by the body mass plus um, resting VO2, which is 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. Now, this equation is not in the correct uh, order for what we're trying to uh, accomplish here. We have his VO2, we have his body mass, what we're trying to calculate is work rate. All right, so we need to rearrange this, e this equation to isolate work rate. So um, let's do this step by step. The first step I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, subtract 3.5 mLs per kg per minute from both sides of the equation, which essentially shifts this across the equal sign to the other side and reverses the, the operation. So we end up with VO2 minus 3.5, um, and we don't have this 3.5 on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the body mass to the other side of the equation as well. So over here it is being, it, work rate's being divided by body mass. So I'm going to multiply body mass on this side, canceling this out, and multiply body mass on this side, which gives us what we had here. So the VO2 minus the 3.5 times, now, now it's multiplication, the body mass. All right, we're almost there. We still have two different uh, values on the right side of the equation. Again, we need to isolate work rate. So let's go one more step here, and we're going to um, divide the three from both sides of the equation to cancel it out on this side and end up with divide by three on the left side of this equation. Uh, and notice that each time I did this, I put a set of parentheses in here to make sure that I did each of these calculations in the correct order. So first you're gonna to have to do the VO2 minus 3.5, then you would have to multiply by the body mass, and then divide by three in order to get the work rate. So plugging in our numbers in this equation, so we have the VO2 of 18 mLs per kg per minute, um, which was given to us in the uh, question. And we subtract from that the 3.5 and multiply the 70.455, which is his body mass in kilograms, and divide by three. This, will, this whole thing will eventually give us work rate. But again, let's take this one step at a time. So let's start with the 18 minus 3.5. That's going to give us 14.5 uh, 14 mLs per kg per minute. Next step is going to be multiplying this by the body mass. So 14.5 multiplied by 70.455 uh, is going to give us 
1021.5975. And then the last step here is going to be dividing this by three in order to get the actual work rate. And so doing so gives us 340.5325 kilogram meters per minute as the work rate. And then of course you can round, I, I try not to round until the very end and we're gonna do one more step. We're gonna go from kilogram meters per minute which is what the ACSM equations calculate and use and we're going to convert this to watts which is um, the more useful unit that most exercise equipment is actually going to use. In order to do this, what we need to do, um, so I have a little typo here, I just have this repeated, so just ignore the second one here. Um, but these these two are the same, just uh, accidentally copied and pasted twice. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, work rate in kilogram meters per minute, we're going to multiply that by the conversion factor of 0 0.163, and that's going to give us 55.51 watts, um, which again, you can round to 56 watts. That, so uh, in this situation, uh, he'll need to do arm cycling at about 55 to 56 watts in order to get the VO2 that was prescribed to him um, by his trainer or by your, you if you were his trainer. So there's a little bit of rearranging of the ACSM formula that's necessary in order to get work rate, um, but it's still a fairly straightforward calculation. So um, I hope this was helpful though. And if you have any questions, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.